You were a sophomore at that time, I think. So my senior year, we barely knew each other during yours. Anyways, Israel was this really nice kid who I liked a lot. The, well, not really liked, more around admiration. You know how some people are just this big, beautiful, bright ball of light, and you wonder, you really just want to grab them and ask, how is your life so, so perfect? How are you nice and kind and everything good and impossible to hate? Why is there nothing wrong in your life? Yeah. Anyways, I was visiting him. He was scared, I could tell. And we talked for a while. Just chatting as if nothing was wrong. And I burst into a hysterical fit of sobbing. And I asked him, I asked him, why is this happening? You're a vegetarian. I know, I thought eating meat causes cancer, okay? So if you don't eat meat, then you won't get... I'm not going to defend my very poor reasoning in this moment of grief, okay? I don't know who it is or what it is. I don't know what it's reaching out to us through codes and radio signals and trash on the fucking beach. And yes, I know I sound crazy right now. I feel crazy. But I wanted to do something for. I want to do something for everyone, you know. I feel powerless and tiny and the world is on fire right now. It's November and I sweat so much every day picking up an endless torrent of trash. The end is near. That's what it says. And I can ignore it, like any other sane person would. And you know what? I would probably be right. There's a good, decent chance that this is nothing, right? But what if it isn't? We can't risk that, can we? I know something is coming. I don't know what it is, but I can feel it. I know it's coming, and we have to do something. Anyways, I cried a bunch during that movie. There's this scene grave of the fireflies where the main character's sister is starving to death. And he comes in with a watermelon. And it's big and delicious looking. And he feeds her a piece. And there's this look on his face where he knows he saved her. Because he tried enough. You know what I mean? Are you getting any of this? Like in all disaster movies, there is something horrible happening. And the people in them are trying to save their family. And all they have to do is to get them to a safe place, or find food, or start a fire to keep warm. And they'll live on. It's a terrible threat, but they can always do something. And since it's a movie, they always survive, and no matter how horrible the disaster is, they always live on. I watched it with Vincent and six or seven, I think. So she must have been, what, 12? She seemed so old at that time, so grown up, looking after me all day. But she was just a kid, right? I found that out in high school. She covered my eyes and my ears at some parts, and we didn't watch after that. But her sister got better. That was how the story ended in my head. I don't want them to die in the end. And I want to be able to do something. Anything. 